One of the new aspects, I think, of contemporary deployments is the importance of direct communication with the, the key audiences. And this is a real shift in many ways, that the traditional way of doing communications for peace operations and for a lot of institutions is essentially one-way communications, that you put out a press release or you issue something and that gets distributed or not and it has an impact or not. That 21st century style of communications is, is really quite circular. It's about building a dialogue rather than simply getting across points. And that sense of building a dialogue, that sense of creating a constituency that is involved in a discussion, that takes a lot of, of, of acceptance of this, of this shift because it requires giving up control of the message. And that shift is one that our new leadership needs to be very fluent in. The idea of your constituency being a digital one. The expectation of the access to information is, is almost immediate, even in some of the poorest places in the world. And that, that has changed things quite a bit. The, the, that, that expectation that you will have a direct interaction, whether or not that would be through um, access to broadcast text messaging or through social media, if you're in a context where social media is relevant. But those, those points matter quite a bit. Um, and getting your message out is increasingly an important aspect of all international deployments and not one necessarily that was a, a key component of traditional peace operations. That right now because of the expectation of instantaneous communication, because of a 24-hour news cycle, there is a really a, a requirement, and that's the word, a requirement that you communicate simultaneously with timely, accurate information, and impart, timely, accurate, and impartial information. Behind the scenes, behind closed doors style of doing business is, is not exactly concurrent with how digital media journalists expect things to be explained to them. And leaders today need to understand that distinction and be able to address it. It doesn't mean that they need to go one way or the other, but it does mean that they need to be sensitive to that dynamic, that there is an expectation that you will, that everything will be laid bare, while at the same time a requirement for confidentiality. And this is one of the fundamental tensions of, of communicating in the modern era, and it's why we need leaders that are trained in modern communication techniques.